environment that you may come across. One of the things I find, and this is, you know, I'm not creating anything that nobody knows, but low tide, great opportunity to get out and read your local beaches. South Shore Beach has changed, can be daily depending on wind and current. The nor'easters will clearly move these sandbars to the left, connect them, destroy them, flatten them, eliminate this point, do all sorts of things. But if you know that you've got a steady pattern and you're going to go fishing in a new area, get out there the night be day before, bring your pole because you just never know what you're going to what you're going to run into, and bring your polarized sunglasses. These things are just a great fisherman tool. They seem simple. Any good pair of polarized. I find that um, I like the dark ones uh, when it gets more towards evening, and the the brownish color shades more in the morning. That's just my preference, but it allows me to really see uh, see these this beach infrastructure much better than without them. So spend a lot of time at low tide. When you find this at low tide, what I love to see here, this is an ideal situation. You know, this rift can change and be off to the left, it can be off to the right, but I really like to look for bar structure, and I love to see the rip coming out from the center of any point. Um, these become pretty obvious. You'll see things like very dark colors reading into these troughs. You'll see clearly the sand, the waves breaking over the bars. Um, and and what, what we're really going to look for as well to identify the rip is you're going to see a lot of foamy water moving out. So pay attention to the foam. Pay attention to the dark shades in the water. It's going to help you identify these a little easier. This is not super easy, by the way. You know, it's funny, you walk down and you think you've gotten good at this, and you say, I can't find a piece of structure. And then I'm fishing with one of my buddies, and I'm walking right past him, and he goes, look at this, this is a great spot. And I'm like, what do you see? And then when he points it out, you go, well, there it is. Wow, you know, it's, it's, they're not always easy to find, so you really got to take your time and, and look for them. I tend not to just random cast the beach, unless I'm walking looking for this type of structure. Um, but when I find it, I, I believe I found magic and I'm going to spend a lot of time fishing this spot. If I fish this spot for half hour, 45 minutes, and I have nothing, I'm going to look a little bit further. Um, depending on where the inlets are, I may walk more towards the inlet. Depending on where my bait patterns have been swimming in the last couple of days, I may move further away from the inlet. I may move, you know, on Robert Moses Beach, I may start at field two or Democrat Point and work my way past field five as far as I can walk.